Welcome back guys. I don't know about you. I'm in the mood for some bridges. We don't have enough bridges anywhere on this map. There's not enough bridges. So we're going to do some stuff. Um, other, other than like finding excuses to build bridges. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do in this episode. But I, I think there's already enough to build like loads of bridges. So I was, I was looking at this and thinking. I wonder if I could do like a cool bridge across here. And I think the answer to that is probably yes. So. Let's, let's play around with this a little bit, shall we? What I was thinking was, if I, um, I'm going to have to pause for a second. Uh, if I get my flatten tool here, hard edge, and max brush size there, yeah, that's fine. And then what I was thinking was, if we flatten this out from here, and come out to like some cliffs at this end, Kind of like, kind of like that sort of thing, and then flatten the old seabed here, and then try and get a nice sharp cliff along here. There we go. That'll do. All right. Now what we need is something similar on the other side. So we're going to create some cliffs over here. I think, like that. Cool. Then I'm going to get. Well, I'm going to flatten back a little bit more. Uh, that field's going to have to go for a start. Cool. And now I've got to make this terrain kind of look reasonable. So we can definitely get a bridge across there. The only problem is it's uh, like the pillars are not even. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's not too bad at all. I'd like to get that and that kind of a little bit more even so come over oh I think that's the best I'm gonna do so you know what that goes in then I want a road bridge let's see what we can do road bridge wise so we're gonna want now I don't really want like a huge road bridge maybe this medium country road and if I take it from say there across like that kind of thing now we want this parallel so that it looks decent we'd want that again i think now <laughs> now can i get these to line up is the question you know what would probably be a better idea if i take it up just a fraction see if that creates something a little bit better oh it might it probably won't but it might so if we did something like that why is it creating like three pillars at the edge it's kind of weird isn't it Still got two pillars there. Can, can you get so, Ah, now that is better. That's much better. All right. You know what? I'm taking that. Boom. You're in. You, you're out. Oh, <laughs> now we've got the the demolition. Like I'm gonna have to like try and avoid doing any demolition, uh, or edit it out. One of the two, because that is just like not good. All right. Now that's gone. What I wanted to try and do is lay this next to this road like that that's what we want so we have track going along there and of course that makes the pillars all join up yes in you go all right so now hopefully we can put a second railway line in Cha ching how does that look okay why is that done different things Oh man, the, the pillars were all lined up and then I've put that in and now they're not lined up and now that means I've got to do some demolishing and that's not a good thing. Well, that gives me like a fairly huge problem. So I think that's going to have to be single track there. Well, it is what it is. Okay, now, assuming that I did something like this, I've then somehow got to get like trains coming out here now what I could do is um, is have a tunnel that like branches off from this tunnel and comes around like this right now that is probably going to give us a very sharp corner here but it's still like 40 43 which is not bad 
Now, am I getting my bridge here? No, I'm not. So let's lift you up a little bit till we get a bridge. Ha <laughs> ha. And obviously we're going to want one of those. Oh, that's, that's kind of cool, isn't it? I think that's kind of cool. Kind of, sort of cool, ish. But let's take it. Let's take that. So in that case, I would want that to hook onto, uh, are you gonna, oh, you will, hooray. Good, good, good. Okay, so we've done that. So then we want you to double track up to there, which you will. Nice. Oh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. All right, so sweet. So we would just want you to come out up here, like pretty much dead straight. And then you are somehow going to hook up to there. How? I've no idea. I think I think we're going to have to do a bit of terrain management up here because that's a bit crazy. You know what? Let's put that in. Now, the other track is going to have to come up to, say, somewhere around there and emerge into here. Um... But to be honest, I want it to merge as close as possible to this. So what I might do is, if I, if I actually put you in, and then maybe I take that section out, I take that section out, hook you up to there, like that, and then bring you out like that. All right, sweet. So we can have trains going up here They'll, that bit's single track, and then they'll go on to dual track. Okay. Oh, my Lord. Trying to get this down there is going to be challenging. Like, to say the least. What I'm thinking is just say, like, just accept that that's not going to work. Get rid of this. Get rid of that field as well. And we'll move the iron mine over here. So, iron mine. Iron mine. Now, how would I put this in? And see, what I'm thinking is to have it kind of like this into here. Like this kind of sort of thing. So if we, if we put you into like there. Then maybe add a such a smoothing around the place just to take that horrible edge off and then yeah that's not looking too bad now potentially we'd want to get rid of this road and touch a smooth in there all right sweet can make that work and then what would we want we would want a road if we came out sort of like that and then maybe have this curving around like that to come down. Yeah, that could work. That could work. Uh, the thing is, do we have a road on this side? And I think the answer is yes, we do. Let me get my flat tool. So we want just want to flatten a bit out from there. So we'd want a road come in out something like something like that. We'll have you flat. And then maybe coming down to the coast down here. Like that kind of thing. Um, I'm thinking this should really like hook up to the coast road though. So maybe maybe you come out like that. And then this hooks up. Kinda sorta something like this. Okay. In which case, instead of bringing this road out like that, maybe we have this road coming out down here. Well, that's a that's maybe a touch steep, don't you think? Oh, maybe something more like that. Oh, now we could put a windy road in. Ooh, let's see about putting a windy road in. So if we came down kind of like that and then had 
windy bit. And let's see, what do we want? Maybe like that. Now we, now we want to come down pretty sharply, don't we? So, all right, like that, and then... Oh, come on, do me a windy bit like you did there. What's the matter with you? There we go, that's better. So we'll have windy bit like that. And come down a bit. And windy bit like that. And then down like that. And another windy bit. And that, I think, should pretty much get us down. To, yeah, that gets us down to the level we want to be at. Awesome source. Uh, so let's just go down to the normal level. And then that can hook up to there. So wait. Now, obviously, this is a little bit extreme here. So we want some softening, but I want to take this easy. So I'm going to crank the strength like right down. Oh, I've got it all flattened. I want it smooth. Okay, so. Now, this is the bit over here that we've got to be like, a little bit careful with. This, this definitely needs to come down a lot there. Oh, you know what? This is headed in the right direction. Maybe a little bit there. Bring it down a touch there. I, st I want to leave this bit, though. But I want these bits to be smoother than they are. With any chance that you'll smooth out? No, it doesn't want to. Oh, that's not too bad. That I could live with. Okay, so in that case, that opens this up. We can just bridge over this part and bring this down here. All right, let's do it. I think I'm going to actually maybe take that. I'm bringing it. Oh, God. Okay, the pillars. Well, I definitely want a pillar there. So pillar is going in. Then you can get hooked up to that. That works just about. Now, where do I want my second track? I kind of like that on that side. That's that's not too bad. So we'll bring the second track out on this side. Let's try and get it to 100. 100, that'll do. And then double track you around to there. Sweet. Okay, so now all we've got to do oops, is bring you down to the ground. Yeah, I, I think it's going to have to be like that. In you go. And then we want double track. Okay, sweet. Okay, so we're obviously heading to Sparrowtown. Now, what are we going to have at Sparrowtown? It's <laughs> a very, very good question. Um, now, do we, do we want a through station that goes to Rogi? Like, I mean, if I was going to do that. Now, obviously, we could have a bridge going across, like, across the harbour. Like, hopping across there and hopping across there, maybe. Uh, and then going up to Rogi. Which, I mean, that would be bridge central. And we could even have a tunnel through there, which would also be fairly epic. Huh. Let's, you know what? Let's see what we can do. This is going to be some bridge. So I'm going to bring you out kind of sort of to there-ish. And turn you into one of those. Now, we do want you to be flat. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to put that in. And then I'm going to put in another bridge going across like this. Yep. I'm not liking the pillars much, but I can live with it. 
So, and you're going in flat. All right, well, let's put that in. Okay, now let's take a section back there. Take a section back there. So we've got the two bridges are straight, and then we'll have a curving connecting piece there, like that. Is this too silly? Or is this is this epic? I can't tell at this point. You know what? I, I, I gotta say, I'm kinda sorta liking it. <laughs> but then I'm a little bit crazy, so. So, we curve it like that. And like that. And then hook you up to there. Okay, that is much better. 90 all around the curve. All right, sweet. What we want to do though, we don't want this being so high up here. So if I drop it down, hit the old N key, like a couple of times. Now, obviously we don't want this burying itself into there, but that's, that's fine. If, you know what, if I accept that, and then take out maybe this section here, which is digging itself into the ground, then hook you up more like that oh that's better that's way better okay we are in business oh that's kind of cool you know what that's that's kind of sort of cool i don't know if you guys are going to like this or not if you don't like it the thing is i don't really know what i'm going to do about it <laughs> Because I don't have really a lot of alternatives. Uh, so what would we want? We would want a uh, station, wouldn't we? Yes. We would want a passenger station through. We'll keep it to a 160. We'd want a couple of platforms. We'd want you flipped around. Probably something like that, wouldn't we? Yep, that's my guess. And so if we were to put you in kind of sort of something like that ish do I want to do I want to drop you down a little bit is there anything you know what if I actually drop that down which you can do you again using the uh, the full stop and the comma keys if I drop you down a bit like that okay so Gonna have to push this back a little bit. It's, it's started going slow again now. Go away. And then go back to my track. So, what's that corner gonna be like? You know what? 60 is fine. 60 is fine. That's better than I thought it was gonna be. Now, I just wonder could we get this to make a tunnel here? make this a bit higher all right sweet so let's try now so if we try and make a tunnel uh, which side am I doing yeah let's do the inside first so if we do that that actually makes a tunnel anyway which is cool coolish I, I do like that. That works really nicely. Uh, but I want a bit more room before the tunnel on this side. So let's get the old flatten tool. Bring the brush size down. Not quite that much. And then from there, bring this out a little bit like that. A touch more maybe. Kind of like that. Is that enough? Yeah, I think that's probably enough. Okay, so inside comes around to the bridge like that. That needs to be modern bridge. And that would actually kind of sort of work. I like that. 
All right, uh, let's accept that. Boom, in you go. Then we want to double, well, try that again. We want to double track that into this station. Boom. Oh yeah. Smoothie down there, smoothie, come on. Smoothie down there. Okay, and then probably, uh, let's see, I want scree. Where's scree? That's ballast. We want scree. Uh, this is uh, rock and scree. Yeah, rock. Rock, probably. Nice rocky entrance. And then maybe a bit of scree on the top. You know what? That'll do. That'll do. Okay, round this side. Similar kind of thing, probably. Just smooth that off a little bit. Just a touch. It's probably as much as we want, to be honest. And then probably do the same thing. So, what's that? That's rock. So, a bit more rock around the outside. And throw a bit of scree on there as well. And this is being coloured over by these trees, I think. There, yeah, I thought so. Maybe take that one. There we go. All right, sweet. How does that look? Much better. I'll need to take out some of these trees, but I can kind of play around with that afterwards, to be honest. We will want some trees in here. All right, I'm liking that. Kind of, sort of liking that. So then, um, now this road that goes up here is going up here a bit too steep and it's going, it's curving into the mountain and it should curve around the mountain. Like, like just silly the, one, the way that that's doing it. Let's have road going across the front of the station like that. Now that should be flat anyway. Well, it was flattish. Cool. So, if we have that kind of steeply turning around there and then hooking up into there like that, that doesn't look bad at all. Sweet. And then you, to be honest, can just like curve down to there. That's fine. Sweet. And then I think a bit of, a bit of upgrading of that section. Awesome. And then... I don't know, there's probably going to be a road across here, isn't there? Like, curving into there like that. Something like that, would you think? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's grab the terrain tool. And now we can just smooth this off. So, let's crank the brush size up a bit. And now, just blend that in a bit. Make that look reasonable. Let's take it up to full size. Alrighty, we are getting somewhere. Alrighty, we have got a station for Sparrow Town. Beautiful. Now, I was actually thinking of doing a tram route between uh, Sparrow Town and Rogi. I was talking to Nick, Nick Rogi last night. Um, on Discord, but I think having got that to there, that we should extend just a railway out to Rogi, and then I'm thinking we should extend that out via a bridge or a set of bridges. We can have a bridge going across here, or even like like maybe there. Maybe we have a bridge going across there and across here. And then, I don't know, like, does it does it curve around there or does it go like straight across there and into Fullerton? And then and then you, you start thinking about, well, in that case, do we have a bridge across here to Joburg? Well, that is a very, very good question, isn't it? And I don't know what you think, but completing that loop would, I think, be kind of cool. Okay, so I have put in all the signalling. I've got a depot down at uh, Sparrow Town Station. And I've even done some decorating, right? But I'm not going to show you now because you're going to see it when we ride the train. How about that? All right, let's go down here. 
Oh, well, actually, before we go down there, let's, uh, let's put in a line. That would be useful. So this is going to be 2P trains passenger, and this is going to be Al to uh, Sparrow. 2P Al Sparrow. Good. Right. Now, let's go down to the depot, which is down here. Here we go. And what do we want? Buy vehicles. We are going to grab um, an SU with, I think, probably just like a couple of Suburbans is going to be fine. So let's buy a couple of those. Boom, boom, in you so go. This is going to go from, uh, let's see, from uh, Alderbeast Station, which is over here. Now, I want the, oh, no, that's, that's not the right station. Here we go. That's the right station. Alderbeast Exchange to Sparrowtown. Hooray. And there was much rejoicing. Okay, so now let's get those trains put on there. Uh, your, uh, oh, here they go. They're already on. Alrighty, jump on the train, quick before it goes in the tunnel. Here we go through the tunnel. Should I back up a bit? I, sh I should probably, I should probably back up a bit so that we can see it. Like, what bit of a bit of a driver over here? So I think, I think we actually want to back off a little bit and have a bit of a bit of a third party, bit of a third party view, <laughs> a third person view. Well, I don't know what you think, guys, but I think that bridge is relatively impressive. It doesn't you know what? That doesn't actually look that bad at all. Quite pleased with that. Now I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to whiz back to the engine, aren't I? While we go through this tunnel. Oh, dip down to the train, whiz through here. Now on this side, I decided that because we're very close to the ocean. Oh look, look at all, there was a fox just ran across the track and a stag. There's loads, there was a big herd of stags running around. I thought that this should be elevated. So I went back and I elevated this and then I decorated the edges with, uh, with a bit of rock. Got rid of the grass. Oh, look, look at all this. This is where they were. Let's go over the other side. There was a big herd of deer running around. Look, 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 look. Mom, mom, look. Loads of them running around. I put in a little, uh, put in a little junction there. What well, junction? Um, a little um, <laughs> road intersection. And then we're coming along here, and I did, uh, did a little bit of work on the terrain over there, but it's not not desperately important. And this is our little zigzag windy road. How does that look? I decorated it up a little bit, and you know what? That doesn't look bad at all. Oh, and we've even got cars driving up and down it. Beautiful. Whoa. Okay, so you're having to stop here. Because, obviously... Now, why would you be having to stop there? There can't be anything coming the other way. Huh. Okay, let's, um, let's pause the game for a sec. Because, obviously... There's something wrong here. So let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look at the line. So we're merging there. That's fine. That's all fine and dandy. Oh, now. I think here we may have to do a bit of uh, maybe platform switching. So, uh, yeah. See, we're going into this platform. We need a switch here. If we're going to use that platform. Yeah, we need this switch. Can I get past that signal? Well, let's, you know what, there's only one way to find out, isn't there, really? Let's put in what I want, tracks. So we would want a switch going from there to, oh, too much slope. You know what, let's try taking that signal out and see if that solves the problem. I think it might, I think it might solve the problem, but we'll see. Too much slope, seriously? Ah, it doesn't like it, it doesn't like it. Now, obviously, we could share a platform, but I think, you know what, let's try. Take that out. Um, 
Let's do it like that. And like too much slope. Oh, that's problematic. Okay, well, let's try doing it like a bit further down. Oh, man, it was all going so well up to that point. So if we just do like a switch like that, where well, we haven't got so much. Uh, it still doesn't like it. Oh, come on. This can't be that hard, surely. Yes, it can. And don't call me Shirley. Uh, what about a really short switch like that? Oh, it'll do that. You know what? That's it. That'll do pig. Alrighty. So, what do I want to do now? Uh, I want to go back to my train and just ride it, don't I? Yeah. Alright, so you wouldn't have had to stop there. So, go. Hooray! Let's jump back on board. And let's have a look at this bridge. Let's back off a little bit. And we can see this lovely train going over this beautiful bridge. I think that that is actually quite a quite a spectacular bridge. I like the the man-madeness of the cliffs, and then I did quite a bit of decorating around here to try and make this look nice. Um, I start, I, I've got to get rid of that tree that's I didn't see that before that is not going to be growing out of brickwork like I don't care how hardy these trees are that just isn't possible okay so let's get back on board you and uh, yeah uh, you know what let's um, maybe just well no because I, I want to kind of show you uh, all of this so we, we need a bit of need a bit of height maybe come around here a little bit so yeah you're gonna, you're gonna go. So yeah, I decorated this up again with um, decorated it with some rocky, rocky terrain around the edges and, and trees where the where there's grass and stuff like that. And I did a fair bit of road work, finishing off some of the roads, making all the roads hook up and stuff. Uh, did some work on the town as well. And oh, can I get to the bridge? Yes, I can. Hooray! <laughs> and then we whiz around join up oh quick get back into the tunnel and that switch is fine that works okay and we are into Alderby station you know I, I don't know about you but I want to ride it the other way because, like, having that journey slightly interrupted has made me want to ride this the other way. I need to upgrade these tracks with high-speed tracks now, because those tracks look a bit strange the way they are. So, into the tunnel. Round the corner. Oh, there's the other train. Hello, train. It caught up with us. While we were held up by that uh, that problem with the with the the switch at the station, so we're over this little uh, over this little bridge, over the road that leads into the town. Oh, let's, let's go up a little bit. Bit of a helicopter view, and I, I put a tunnel in there for the road. Which I think that I think that works really nicely. And I've deliberately left the, the road and rail elevated. Because I wanted it. I just wanted it to look like that. I love the combined road rail bridge. That's really nice. And then there's our little windy road going down there. Obviously this will be known as... Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis Road because of the fabulous curves and then we're past the ore mine which I also decorated a little bit I, I love this raised section of track I'm really pleased that I did that 
Oh, we've got a storm on the horizon. And then there, there's the farm. I put the farm back in. And I hooked that road up and connected it all up to that bridge and beyond. Oh, this... I'm going to say this was like a successful bit of road, uh, rail building. Because this is a really nice journey. These tropical maps do make for nice journeys though. There's Sparrow Town in the distance. Sparrow Town's got quite big now. Am I going to duck into the tunnel? No, I'm going to. We're going to watch the train going. I'm going to go up so that we can see the train going over the bridge. Because that is pretty sweet. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I need to do I need to put in a coast road around uh, Sparrow Town. Cuz it looks a bit untidy, but other than that, looking looking pretty good. All right, here we go. Through the tunnel. Am I going to dip duck under the tunnel? Nah, we'll we'll see it from a helicopter view. There it goes into the tunnel. And then pops out the other side and into the station. Oh, you know, for me, total success. I cannot wait to see what you guys think of that little journey. Because I, I, I was kind of in doubt about this. But I actually think it kind of works. So, guys... Let me know what you think of this uh, this route and this journey and everything. Leave me a comment and I will catch you for the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.